תמיד זה זה העוזר שלך? אוי, אני מחפשת לך עוזרים קטנים כאלה. The first years of independence were the hardest years in the history of Israel. Israel was struggling with the economy crisis, austerity and rationing, and with an over 700,000 new immigrants that flooded the country, demanding immediate housing solutions and building volumes, it was not an easy task for the country. But for the Technion, for the Technion it was the start of a whole new challenge to embrace and a whole lot of obstacles to overcome. Between building the new coastal road connecting Haifa and Tel Aviv and founding industries to produce the rapid housing demand, Technion expertise accelerated. The student, student body exceeded a thousand and the original building in central Haifa had become too small. In 1953, Technion moved to a larger site on Mount Carmel. The first faculties that were set up in the new campus were Faculty of Agriculture Engineering and the Department of Aeronautical Engineering. Toma, did I say it okay? Okay, that's good. Aeronautical, right? It's very tough for somebody who doesn't see very well without glasses. <laughs> a year later, Professor Albert Einstein was awakened, I'm sorry, was awarded, oh my God, he was awakened for sure. He was awakened, was awarded the Technion Honorary Doctorate and the Faculty of Chemical Engineering was open. As the Technion continued to expand, another war was forced on us the 1956 Sinai War, when Egyptian President Gamal Abdul Nasser Mahshmoum <laughs> decided to nationalize the Suez Canal, blocking it to all Israeli shipping. The Sinai War Sinai, Sinai started. The most touching moment in this war was standing in front of the sacred Mount Sinai, the traditional site where the Jewish people became a nation, saying, we will do and we will listen. Now, thousands of years later, the Jews have returned to Mount Sinai. There is a song that was written especially for this historical moment. It's called In Front of Mount Sinai. The members of the Army Entertainment Group, Lahakat Hanachal, were called upon to perform it for the soldiers fighting in this area. Standing there at the foot of Mount Sinai and singing proudly, it is not a dream, nor it is a legend, was such a high level of spiritual experience that bore, brought tears to the soldiers' eyes. And they just kept asking the group, please sing it again, sing it over, over again. And the song says, it is no dream, my, my friends. It is not a dream nor a legend. In front of Mount Sinai, where we stand again, the bush is burning still. It's burning bright within the hearts of all the brave and young as they go out to fight. From ancient times until now, the bush remains in flame. We will tell the tale until the day we die, how we return to stand here at Mount Sinai. Yachad Yitchen, Mul Ha Sinai.